It's always fun to run into old friends, and today we've got Dennis Rasmussen with us uh, in the Pitch Logic Lab in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Dennis played with the New York Yankees, San Diego Padres, Kansas City Royals, Chicago Cubs, and the Cincinnati Reds. And we crossed paths with the Cincinnati Reds. And this summer is going to be a really interesting experience for you. After having been out of coaching since about 2000, you're going to be the pitching coach for a team in the Appalachian League, which is a college team sponsored by Major League Baseball. Tell us a little bit about the league and how it all came about. And thanks for being with us, too. Yeah, my pleasure. Uh, it's the Blue Field Ridge Runners. And uh, USA Baseball, uh, a friend of mine who's a former Creighton uh, alumni, was a general manager there, Eric Campbell. And uh, when I, the organization, when the Appy League connected and decided that Major League Baseball was going to uh, partner with them, I reached out to them and threw my name in the hat and said, I'd like to be in the uh, professional baseball ranks and get back into coaching. And so I said, put my name on the short list and, and it ended up working out. And a good friend of ours, uh, Joe Oliver, is going to be managing that team. I already have uh, some stories that I know you guys are going to be going over. Joe also with this with those Reds teams. Um, you've been out of the game for a little while, and you have really immersed yourself in preparing for today's game uh, with all the technology, with all the numbers, with everything else. For those guys out there that are looking at it and saying, gee, the baseball's changed, how are you catching up? Well, just uh, trying to read everything I can, listen to podcasts, um, come here to Pitch Logic Lab and, and understand what you're actually doing. Um, I, uh, I know the, the uh, teams are all going to have track men in the facilities uh, with Major League Baseball, and, uh, and some of the guys might even have individual Rapsodo machines um, to track their data. So I'm trying to educate myself on all the technology that's available to these guys and uh, both on and off the field and then hopefully I can help them uh, between their ears and uh, and help them uh, get uh, that much better and and uh, move along the path to playing professional baseball. Well we've been able to spend the morning together in a couple of different places and uh, I can already see the themes developing with you and you've got a, a pretty good game plan going in of what you want to do How's it changing for you as you get deeper into it? What are you finding that's really jumping out saying, I've got to become proficient at that? Well, I think it changes constantly. The more knowledge you get, knowledge is power. And, and uh, to be able to talk the, the, lang the lingo and the language that these college players are now uh, talking, it's, it's, it's something that I've got to continue educating myself and learning. And fortunately, our season's not going to start until June 1st. And, I've got a couple months now, a little over now, that, that I can ramp up and, and really understand and better, better understand the, the language that they're, that they're speaking and understand the knowledge and how to relate it to these players. It's, it's an interesting combination of things that, that go into pitching. And as I've been involved with F5 Sports and Pitch Logic, you know, I found that people think there's just one thing that's going to make the difference. And you start realizing how complex the entire pitching motion and, and what you need to do to get that final result, how difficult it is to put it all together. Yeah, I just had no idea. Now learning what I know, and it's on the very beginning stages, you, uh, I can relate to a lot of it on how I move my hands and manipulated the ball. And, uh, but now it makes sense because I've got numbers attached to that. And then to be able to relate that to the, to the pitchers specifically is going to be a challenge. And, uh, but I'm, uh, I'm up to the challenge, and I think uh, you're never too old to learn new tricks. And, and I expect myself to, to really do that and be able to help these guys the best they can and develop. And the yeah. fact that Major League Baseball is getting behind this uh, obviously brings the instant credibility. They're staffing you up. They're doing all the right things to show exactly how important those first couple of years of college are and how those are going to develop our pros of the future. These kids are, uh, it's an invite only uh, to our uh, clubs, all 10 clubs. And these kids are incredibly uh, fortunate to have access to this, uh, to this knowledge. Uh, both on the field, off the field, something we're going to be able to get to know these players and, 
and know more about them, not, a more, not only just a bunch of numbers, but we're going to get to know them personally and help them with the mental part of the game as well and combine those two to make, uh, make them future big leaguers. You stayed in baseball after your career was over, 91 wins in the big leagues over a number of seasons with a number of clubs. Watching the game change from when you retired, were you like I am, one of those get-off-my-lawn guys uh, that, uh, that said this is stupid baseball, it doesn't make any sense? Or what, what was your attitude about the game after you got away from it when you were done coaching? You know, I, I, I was one of those guys, and the more I talked to the guys that stayed in the game, and saw the evolution of the game. I think I started coming to from the dark side to the new side, and <laughs> and I uh, now am, am fascinated by it. And then I've got a young boy that's a college age that that talks the 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 lingo, and and we talk amongst ourselves when we watch the game and see the data that's on the screens. And uh, it, I said I got to know more about this, and uh, I think I can still help these guys get to that next level. Well, again, just watching you this morning as we have visited and, uh, and thrown some baseballs and watched how the numbers popped up and analyzed them, no doubt in my mind you're going to be successful. My question is, how are you going to take these 20 and 21-year-olds that are college freshmen and sophomores and turn them into a first-round, six-foot, seven-inch, 230-pounder like you were? How do you make that happen? You know, it's, <laughs> uh, you know I was very fortunate and God's gift uh, to have the body and, and to stay as healthy as I was throughout my career. And those are intangibles that, uh, you know, you can't, you can't teach. And um, so I, I, did, I thought I did all the right things. I'm trying to learn what these guys are doing to do the right things to stay healthy because if you can't stay healthy you can't uh, further your development and then have a lengthy career in, in the big leagues and I, I would like to think that that's all these guys goals and why they're playing in a summer collegiate league so um, it is something that they uh, will uh, hopefully it will evolve and I'll be able to help them and go along the path and be able to watch these guys uh, develop and say oh it's it's fun to see them because uh, I did have a few when I was coaching for four years uh, that got to the big leagues. And, mm -hmm. you know, there's a, there's a pride factor personally sure. to see these guys develop and, and do some of the things. And you know that they helped. And then let alone get that phone call and say, hey, I got to the big leagues and uh, I just got the call. And it sure is. Uh, it's, it's even greater than, than you said it was going to be. Well, we appreciate your time. Thanks for stopping in. We'll, um, if you're fortunate enough to play in the Appy League, and if you're fortunate enough to play in Bluefield, you're going to learn a lot of baseball this summer. You're going to learn a lot of good habits, and you're going to learn a lot of ways to develop yourself so that you can get to the big leagues. Good luck. We're going to keep an eye on you. are about four hours away. See how you're using the pitch logic baseball and uh, making some of these guys big leaguers. I appreciate it, and I look forward to using it and, and seeing how we can best develop these young, young men. All right. Thanks a lot, Dennis Rasmussen.